one branch of the billionaire Sackler dynasty has decided enough is enough. The Klan, described by two U.S. Congress members late last year as one of the most evil families in America, has taken a step to change the narrative by launching a new website. The website, called judgeforyourselves.info, was launched in late May by the descendants of the late Dr. Raymond Sackler, one of two brothers whose families owned Purdue Pharma, the company that produced pain medication OxyContin, long associated with the U.S. opioid epidemic. The new site seeks to reveal what it claims are false narratives about the Sackler family and the family's alleged role in the opioid crisis. The U.S. Department of Justice said last November that the family's pharmaceutical firm contributed to a national tragedy of addiction and deaths. According to the U.S. Congress, nearly 450,000 lives have been lost in the U.S. to the wider opioid epidemic over the past two decades. But for the Sackler family a resolution to the controversy may be near. The company announced in March that the family would pay $4.3 billion to resolve the 3,000-odd outstanding civil claims from those affected by the opioid crisis, with Steve Miller, chairman of Purdue's board of directors claiming the settlement would have a profoundly positive impact on public health. If successful members of the family would be immune from future criminal prosecutions. The timing of the reputation firefight comes before a final vote by the company's creditors, expected this summer, to approve a bankruptcy proposal involving the family and Purdue Pharma. Some U.S. attorneys general feel the settlement is too lenient and protects around $7 billion of the famous family's near $11 billion estimated fortune. Despite being combative in tone, the website is not seeking to challenge or dispute the $4.3 billion settlement, or the company's guilty pleas to federal crimes twice in 2007. The website argues that the opioid OxyContin represented just 4% of all opioid prescriptions in the U.S., challenging the widely circulated public allegation that OxyContin is responsible for creating the opioid crisis. The site claims the lawsuits filed against the company were orchestrated by plaintiffs' lawyers, who stood to benefit from plans to vilify Purdue and the Sackler family. This 4% claim has been challenged by nonprofit newsroom ProPublica, which reported in 2019 that measuring potency rather than the number of pills sold made Purdue's market share 16%, not 4%, ranking it the third largest seller of opioids from 2006 to 2012. The website concurs on another page stating that when measured by the me, morphine milligram equivalent, OxyContin was never more than 16% of the market, peaking in 2001 and 2002. The website also claims that the first lawsuits filed in Massachusetts against Purdue Pharma are riddled with false assertions and includes allegations of conduct that simply never happened.